Hello everyone, welcome once again in Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to install FFmpeg in Mac OS Ventura. And the same process will work for the later OS versions as well. I'm going to explain you everything here in detail. Let's begin. Okay, before starting, please make sure you are connected with the internet and uh, you have good internet speed because we are going to download something Okay, let's begin with the step one. We need to check if Homebrew is installed on our Mac OS or not. Okay, for this, open the terminal. Go to the spotlight search, type terminal, press enter on this terminal. We need to type a simple command, brew help or brew hyphen version press enter and then you will see a message command not found that means brew is not installed if in your case brew is installed on your system so you can jump to step 3 okay for those who don't have the brew installed we are going to follow this procedure okay now we will install homebrew this is the link so first visit this link open a browser paste the address and then you will see this page on this page this is the command and you can simply go here on this icon click and that statement will be copied and this is the same statement we have just copied from the web page and the same command is present in the description as well so you can copy from the browser go to here in the terminal paste it and hit enter and then this will ask you for the admin password please provide the system password here and then press enter okay you can see these things going to be installed and uh, this will take few more seconds after that you have to give the password again because uh, it has already installed the uh, command line tools for the xcode now going to proceed to install the further things give the password and see this downloading and installing the homebrew you can see here the progress if you have a very good internet speed then this process will not take much time only three to five minutes are sufficient for the complete downloading here on my system this time we are under the limit so this will take time i will skip the downloading step and i will continue after the downloading of this package okay so finally when the downloading and installation will be done you can see the message on the terminal now we can verify the brew installation is successfully done or not at this place we have already done the step one now we are in the step two before going to proceed we have to follow we have to verify the brew installation type brew help okay then again you will see command not found why because brew is installed but the jsh is not able to detect the bin directory for that we have to set up the path in the jsh rc file for the brew binary and the path is so first we have to open the jsh rc file and this is the path i will show you how you will do it this process is simple for those who are doing this thing first time, so definitely they don't have the JSH RC file on their system. Don't worry, I'm going to use a common process that will first create the JSH RC file and then we will add the path. Right now, type the pwd command that will show you on which directory you are present. Okay, so I have just executed one command to check jsh file is there or not on my system i have already created 
that one is present no problem just type the next command nano dot zshrc press enter then this micro editor will appear and you will see file opened in the edit mode right now you can see i have already exported the path java home and the path variable because in the previous videos tutorial when i have created something so i have added these path now in our case we have to simply append the path the brew bin path okay in this variable so the path is opt homebrew slash bin no problem whatever written in the notepad you can simply put in this zshrc file okay because i have already set up the java home that's why i'm going to append the path next to this variable this will also work uh, we are appending the path so the complete path will be a complete string okay colon means we have just appended the path to the existing right that's it once this is done we have to press control x from the keyboard okay then you will see this message save modified buffer you want to save the changes type yes press enter and then again press enter and you will be exit and the file will be saved now zshrc file has been written and saved okay now what we will verify type the cat dot zshrc press enter and then you can see what you have added is display here okay now we will go with the the command brew help to verify again we got the message command not found why because we have already set up but in this window of zsh that changes are not loaded that's why we have executed the source dot zsh rc then changes loaded and again we have executed the file brew help and we got the results okay now brew is successfully detected by the zsh so here the step 2 we have executed successfully our brew installation is successful and this is properly working now we can proceed okay now we are at the step 3 in the step 3 we have to simple type the command brew install ffmpeg for the brew the ffmpeg that means we are going to install i got this warning why because i have already executed the brew install ffmpeg once and the installation was successful but for your demonstration i'm going to reinstall it brew reinstall ffmpeg and this will override all the necessary files once the installation is finished you can simply go with the verification of the installation okay simply type the command ffmpeg press enter and then you will see this complete message ffmpeg version 6.1.1 copyright 2000 2023 that means your ffmpeg installation is perfectly fine now you are ready to use the ffmpeg library and you can do some video editing okay i'm going to perform one demo in which i will trying to convert this .mov file to .mp4 let's do it so i have a, a test file which is present in a test folder which is available on the desktop okay now first we will go to the folder inside the test folder so this is our test folder simple way just drag and drop drop the folder here on the terminal so you will get the path once you get the path you can simply append the cd space hit enter and then you will be inside the test folder 
So whenever you need a path and you want to move inside any folder at any location, simply reach to that folder, drag and drop the folder, you will get the path. Okay, now we have just executed the ls command and we can see we have one .mov file. You can see we are present inside the test folder. Now we are ready to write this ffmpeg command. ffmpeg hyphen i. Now we have to give the input file name which is sample.mov. This is source video file which we are going to convert into mp4. Okay, the target is demo.mp4. Command is ready and we also ready. Hit enter. Soon you will see the processing is started. Okay, on the top inside the folder you can see the output file is generated. Demo MP4 is ready. Now you can launch it. See this. This is our converted demo.mp4 file running perfectly fine. FFmpeg done its task completely. You guys have seen the way of installation of FFmpeg in the macOS Ventura. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.